Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Okay. Hmm. Looks like there are some changes in your life right now that you're waiting or anticipating to come. And you're already in the verge of making a uh, decision, okay, or judgment. And you are just putting more and more energies into your into your workplace or into your profession right now. But it seems like you're also withdrawing from the crowd or you're trying to push some people away from you because it's like for you you know it's like for you you don't want to let anybody in at this point because you feel like nobody understands you anyway even the person that you're with at home that even though there are some things that you want to tell that you want to say at the end of the day and then you're just gonna see their poker face you know like uh, okay never mind so your silence and your um, your attitude your behavior gets you know it, it, it's like so, some people just um, mis misinterpret it or just some people just don't get it that this is just the way you are and if they really want to get through to you they have to read you of course not all people are mind readers but you also need to be a little bit more readable okay there's somebody uh, there's somebody um, around you who's been like fencing themselves raising their walls up and but they are peeking through okay that even though they are protecting themselves at this point because they are also afraid of getting hurt and they are also afraid of you know knowing the truth why are you acting this way they're they keep on thinking about you they're also waiting for you to reach out they're also waiting for you to value them especially if you're with an air or water sign or an earth sign okay now Despite of this, you know, despite of all the things that's been going on in your life right now, your work is going smooth. I don't see any problem. And it seems like your money will just keep on flowing and, uh, you know, continuously. However, when it comes to your personal level, you feel like, where is this going to go? It's like you're, you're also full of questions. Like, why, are, why do we need to be with someone? Why do we need to fall in love? And what is really love? Or... Why do, you, why do you need to be in a relationship? Or why people get into a relationship but they don't know how to be in a relationship? So there are a lot of questions in your mind right now that you feel like, when will, it, when, when will you ever get the answer for this? There's someone around you who's an air sign or who is a water sign at this point who's been like being walled up, feeling stuck as well. But they are also, you know, raising their, their fences or they're raising their walls. That they are just waiting for you to pay attention to their needs, pay attention to their, you know, to their side. And they feel like you're also lying to them. Both of you are actually just lying to each other, you know, lying about your feelings, lying that it's okay, lying that it's not okay and stuff like that. But all you wanted right now is just to be happy, okay? That you, you cannot really tolerate any more dramas. You cannot really tolerate any more, um, you know, any more, um, what do you call this? Uh, sour graping. And you're already having a hard time because this person isn't really willing to communicate. That even if you want to, you know, to, to talk, to discuss and sit down, you feel like it's just going anywhere and this person you feel like they're very contented with whatever that's been going on but they're all the you know the water is already getting deep and the the the, the, the damage is also getting deep as well you know the, the wounds and the cuts so while you can try to save up whatever you can from this relationship or from this situation because it, it's still manageable 
Okay, it's still workable. And even if your money right now is really going okay and smooth, there are some people who's feeling so wounded because you're not really paying attention to them. And money is coming in, okay? Um, you know that for some reason this water sign around your life is also your lucky charm. That uh, there are some things in the past or there are some financial dealings that just come so easily, uh, you know, um, ever since that this person came into your life. And you have tried to separate, you've tried to break up, and then it was, you know, it was um, exchanged by a lot of hardships and difficulties. Now, you will be focusing much on your work, but there is someone who is an air sign who will be seducing you and who will be showing much of their flirtations and their admiration and that they, you know, they're, they're also going to be, um, you know, crossing the line of being a little bit touchy and flirty and will tell you directly that they want you. Now, you will try to resist this person for a little while and I feel like you will be traveling within the next two days this week uh, to attend the celebration but then this person will be in your mind you just recently rejected or just let go of a fire sign that you feel like uh, you know um, you feel like you're not yet ready to ruin your family because of this woman but you know you've um, you've already had some intimate moments with this person but you know your limits. You know where you should be standing. So that is the reason why that the, you know you're you're you've been a little bit preoccupied, and somehow your spouse can also feel what you're up to and why you've been behaving like this. So you can't really blame them if they've been acting a little bit like um like a tiger lately, and they've been being they they're being extra confrontational which is that is the one that you've been avoiding but somehow if you really want to fix the situation or if you really want to get this better or work on the relationship then you have to let go of all of this of course you can't blame them because you're you know you're you're too magnetic you're good looking and you're charming you're irresistible but it's flattering only at the beginning, but once you really lose the one that counts, that is where you're going to realize that, you know, it is not, it's not worthy of, you know, this short um, happiness or these short pleasures. They're not really worthy of losing the one that you really value the most. That, of course, you already found your best friend, your companion, your lover, the mother of your children, and, you know, your your spouse and your partners. And, and you, you used to be partners in crime, but right now you're into solo, okay? Fix the gap in your relationship right now while you still can. It's still workable. It's still manageable. Your partner is not yet that hurt, but if you will just prolong this and if you will just let the, uh, the silence get bigger then of course that the damage will get even bigger as well all right anyway that's it for you for this week libra if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you